It's Corey and Castiel here from Sydney, Australia, and you're watching TJV with Diesel, Chevy, Frankie, Frankie, Brit, and the main man Josh. Enjoy. Good morning, everybody. We were lucky enough to find a spot right in Red Deer, Alberta. So we're doing our reset here, actually. We got here last night, and we're gonna be here till tomorrow morning. And as soon as the reset is done, we're gonna go and unload our freight just down the road. And we're gonna head to Edmonton, pick up some lumber that's taking us down to Iowa. I'm just sort of getting attacked by my shirts here. I use these shirts as a curtain, yeah, it's just easier. I do have a curtain that wraps around my windows, but the driver who had my truck before me, before I bought it, uh, was abusive and wrecked it and broke all the pins that hold it up here on the rat on the tracks. So I just use this, it's fine, whatever, it works. So today's a special kind of day. We're not actually doing any trucking today. Just a heads up to you guys, no trucking today, but we are doing Christmas shopping. We rented a car. Uh, I've got to walk across town now to go pick it up. It's a good excuse to go for a walk. It's about three and a half, three, 3.7 kilometers. It'll take me about 45 minutes to get there. We'll pick up the car. We're gonna come back here. Uh, gonna play with diesel for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go have a shower so I'm clean. And then I'm just gonna run into Edmonton for a couple of hours. Do my Christmas shopping. Diesel can stay here in the nice warm cab where it's familiar for him. And uh, we get to explore West Edmonton Mall a little bit. So it'll be a fun day. Let's get outside. These shirts are attacking me here. And I have a shoehorn in my hand for some reason. Let's leave that here. We don't need to take that with us. All right, Diesel, you hang out here and hold the fort, okay? I got the heater on, all right? You got your bed there? You just hold the fort. I'll be back in about an hour or so, okay? A little more. Good boy. Got my coffee, obviously, for the walk. That's where the exhaust comes out for the little heater in there little Wabasto heater. He doesn't really even need the heater. It's a really nice day outside today. It's actually pretty pretty warm considering what we've been through this year already. It's only about, it's around zero or something. That's what it feels like, so he'll be fine. The heater only kicks on if it needs to. It's not like it'll cook him out in there, but it only turns on if, he, if it needs to. So it's just getting warmed up right now, and it'll probably shut off again. Probably won't even turn on again until we get back. Let's go get our car. I think we, I think it's going to be a Chevy Sonic, something lame like that. I'm actually kind of glad that the rental car company doesn't do pickup. It gives me an excuse to get out and walk today. I've been finding excuses again not to go out for my daily walk. You know, excuses like, oh, it's minus 40 outside. Stuff like that, you know. Now it's, I think it's about, it's between zero and minus 10 Celsius. So it's, it's just below freezing. It's not bad at all today. It's a good day for a walk. And I haven't been to West Edmonton Mall in so long. It used to be the largest, wait, largest mall in the world? I don't know, it's got like an indoor water park with a wave pool and slides. It's got an indoor amusement park. I don't know, we'll explore it. We'll go see, this vlog might be a little longer today, but it's gonna be fun and different. Do you see it? You see it? The hunters in the audience see it. Hey bud. What you doing there? Hey. Wanna hang out? Wanna go for a walk with me? How close is he gonna let us get? Look at him, he's right there. Hey bud. What you doing? What you doing? I'm not gonna hurt you. You better get away from the road though. It's dangerous out here for you. Hey, it's just... Red Deer apparently is another one of those cities that uh, don't believe in sidewalks. So I'm just <laughs> trudging through the snow here. Just finished my coffee. <laughs> I think came out of the bush and scared me. Oh, look, there's a little trail here. 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm gonna go see if I can find him. Where'd he go? Well, there he is. He's over there. Let's see how close we can get. Do you think he sees me? It's a little buck. Can I hang out with you, bud? I don't have anyone to hang out with. Don't run away. Hey! I just want to hang out. How you doing? Where are we going? Can I follow you? You're a city deer, aren't you? You're not that scared of me. I should stop talking. Oh, he heard my phone. <laughs> no, don't go that way. The road's that way. I'm going to stop following you if you're going to go on the road, man. Just want to say hi. Okay, I'm going to stop following him now. He's going back towards the road. Don't want to push him back that way. So I'm going to go back around here and cut him off so that he can't go back to the road. Got my feet all wet. Whatever. Worth it. Closest I've gotten to a deer in a long time. The deer around our place are uh, not that timid and tame. This is obviously a city deer. You know what's interesting? <laughs> the city we're in is called Red Deer. You should call it Brown Deer. I haven't seen any. That's a brown deer. Oh, there he is. Oh, shoot, he's right here. You following me now? Are you following me? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> I'll leave him alone. Whatever. I want to see if I can get close enough to pet him. Whatever. He's smart. Shouldn't trust humans. The road is right here, eh? So he's just in there. Wonder what he's doing this far into town. I wonder if this is where he lives in this little bush here. Huh. Well, that was interesting. This is what a, this is what a neighborhood in Red Deer looks like. Very nice little town. Excuse my phone. Somehow it's connected to my camera. Whenever I press play, it starts dinging. Oh, oh, hey, bud. How you doing? Oh, oh. Well, he told me. At least here they got sidewalks, eh? You know, this day might turn into two vlogs. Here comes the salt truck. I got the right away. I'm a pedestrian. I'm giving her. Oh, he's going that way anyway. Yeah, we might have to do this day in two vlogs because this is an out of the ordinary day, so I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot more filming than usual. We'll see what happens. This might be part one. You might have to tune in tomorrow for part two. The sidewalk here hasn't been cleared yet. Still got my coffee cup. It's empty. <laughs> Waiting to find a garbage can. Must have gotten a lot of snow here at one point. <laughs> Smells like the marriage of the Juana here. Beautiful spruces. I wish we had more of these type of trees in our yard. I believe these are, well, correct me if I'm wrong, the blue spruce, Colorado blue spruce maybe? Britt and I love these trees. But they, they grow really, really slowly. If you want a fast growing spruce, you gotta get like a Norwegian spruce. We have a lot of uh, jack pines around our place, which are ugly pines. We would like more like this. But slowly, slowly. 
this summer we're gonna do some more transplanting and probably buy a couple more trees plant them as well we've also been thinking of the idea of every Christmas getting a Christmas tree they make these they make these you can get a Christmas tree that you can actually keep all winter then in spring you can actually plant it in the ground and then do that every year and then every year you don't have to throw your Christmas tree out you can watch them grow into big trees like this so you have them in your house throughout winter and every year after that you can decorate them again outside I thought that was a neat idea Britt came up with that I've never heard of that but apparently they do that somewhere you can get trees like that forest across the street here or something what a nice town you know if I ever moved to Alberta into this area this is an area I would well oh, every part of Alberta is awesome what am I, who am I kidding apparently this is where we pick it up it took us pretty much exactly 45 minutes to walk here and that was with hanging out with that deer for a while Hanging out with a deer and red deer. Oh, here's Avis right here. Avis car rental. Oh, I got the keys. It's a black Elantra. That's a Hyundai, right? A Hyundai. 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 I'm looking for a Hyundai. What does an Elantra look like? I should know these things. Black. Black Elantra. Is that an Elantra? It's a license plate. Plate K7. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Elantra? Are you an Elantra? No, that's an Altima. That's a, I don't know what that is. It's a spaceship. Black Elantra. What if I just like lock the doors? Oh, it's over there. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a little hatchback little thingy. Okay, way over there. All right. That makes sense. They apparently they had already been out here, they checked it. I'm just supposed to do a walk around if I see any damage, just make note of it and take a picture, bring it in, but apparently it's all good to go. There she be. There's our ride. Check this thing out. Oh, she likes me. Oh, she's excited. I thought I had rented a, a sedan with a trunk. Check this baby out. Wow. Riding in style. <laughs> wow, this actually looks pretty nice. Wow. See, I wanted a vehicle that uh, I could put my Christmas gifts in the back. Okay, good. It's got like a cover on it. I can put my Christmas gifts in the back there and then go into Walmart. Got to do some grocery shopping as well. And I don't want people to see what's in there, right? All right, guys, let's, let's climb on in. Ooh. Very fancy. Look at this. This is a pretty nice little go-kart. Do I fit? Alright. Let's start her up. Oh, look at this little popcorn machine works. Look at this thing. Very nice. Okay, so we got a full tank of fuel. You saw it there. This is what we're working with. Oh, it has that new car smell. It went like that. Automatic, of course. Let's just do a quick walk around and make sure that... Uh, oh, God, you can hardly get out of this go-kart. Nice. Okay, no damage. No damage, because if there's any damage and I bring it back, they're going to pin it on me. You guys see anything? No stone chips on the front or anything? Okay, wow, this looks like brand new. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah, looks good. Cool. Well, it's not just an Elantra. It's an Elantra. GT! Hyundai! All right, let's go back to the truck and Get ready to go. I don't want to wear this work jacket to the mall. Okay. 
Oh, I wonder what kind of squirrels they got under the hood in this thing. You guys want to see? I want to see. How do, you, how do you open the, the squirrel machine? There we go. All right, we got to get out of here. Okay, one sec, guys. Oh, there's the powerhouse. Oh, yeah. A little baby alternator. It's just a baby. All right. Well. Cool, you wanna see what the hatch looks like? I do. How do you open the hatch? Well, we're not gonna hit this sign, are we? Oh, oh, careful. Okay, it's got some storage space in there. Cool. All right. Hyundai! <laughs> All right. Okay. Do this i'm excited we made it back to the pilot it was a lot faster driving than walking it was a five minute drive or 45 minute walk we gotta walk that again later when i drop the car off because they don't have pickup and drop off but it's a nice day and you know there's an excuse to go for a walk and it's about three point three and a half kilometers so two and some miles it's not that bad it's what i usually do every day anyways so i'm not complaining i got two feet in a heartbeat and it's good for you so later on, I'm going to drop the car off and walk back yet. This is probably going to turn into two vlogs because I'm excited about today. It's not a regular day on the road. Uh, renting a car is not something I do very often at all. So it's exciting in itself. And uh, plus we're going to West Edmonton Mall, which is a very famous mall in Canada. And I uh, can't wait to show it to you. But first, we need to clean ourselves up. We're not going out all smelling like a trucker. We're going to make ourselves at least look a little bit festive and cheery. And charge the GoPro while we're in here because we're going to need it. <laughs> All right. Talk to you guys in a bit.